Yo, what's going on guys? It's Dario. Welcome back to the channel. Make sure you have a like on this video and subscribe. And today we have some big news in the NFL. We shared a lot of big news in the NFL today because it's almost the start of training camp. But the biggest one today was Julio Jones, former Atlanta Falcons and Tennessee Titans wide receiver, future Hall of Famer, one of the greatest wide receivers of our generation, has signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, joins Tom Brady on Brady's quest for his eighth, and Julio will now try to get his first Super Bowl, and he joins Tom Brady, and that's a pretty good person to join if you want that. So, my instant reaction to this, I think it's a pretty good signing. It's only a one-year deal. I don't think they're going to give him too much money because, let's be honest, Julio Jones is past his prime. I love Julio Jones. He's my, one of my favorite receivers of all time. But with the Titans, he was lackluster. He had one touchdown. He had 400 yards. I think he only had like 30 or 40 catches. He was pretty bad last year. He was injured a lot. That's why he his values kind of sunk because he's very injury prone now. He had this ongoing hamstring issue. I also think we didn't really use him use him correctly. I think we didn't really throw him the ball much. Is that Ryan Tannehill's fault? Is that the offense coordinator Tao Downing's fault? I don't know, but we cut Julio Jones. I think it was a pretty good cut. We saved some money, and now he goes on to sign with Tampa Bay, which is a really good fit for him because you're playing with Tom Brady. If you're an older receiver without a ring who still wants to play, I think Tom Brady is the perfect guy to play for, so I really like that for the Bucks. and he's now entering the same division of his former team, the Falcons. I don't know how Falcons fans feel about that, but they might be a little mad, but... Julio Jones, I think he doesn't make the Buccaneers that much better, I'll be honest. It, he does add another element to their offense, but they already had Mike Evans. They already had Chris Godwin. They already had Russell Gage. They already had a really good wide receiver core without Julio Jones, which is adding Julio Jones just the cherry on top. I like this signing. I don't think he's going to have like a major, major impact. I think he'll have 500, 600 yards. He'll add in three or four touchdowns, and that's it. But Buccaneers get Julio Jones. He got cut from the Titans, and now he will be joining Tom Brady on his quest for the first super, uh, for his first Super Bowl. And I honestly, I have Tampa Bay coming out of the NFC. I think Tampa Bay might even win the Super Bowl again this year. I have them coming out of the NFC. Um, I'll do my Tampa Bay Buccaneers season outlook video uh, soon, whenever that cat uh, whenever that happens. But there's a preview for you guys. I have them reaching the Super Bowl. This is a really good roster. I think it's arguably the best roster in the NFL alongside the Bills. So, we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Julio Jones has signed with the Buccaneers. And I'll see you guys next